All right, guys. Uh, now we're coming to do a uh, voltage check test on these batteries. We gotta dial this one to the DC volt, and um, we're gonna get from there. All right. So we're gonna be testing those probes here on C. Uh, the voltage on each of the battery. Stay tuned. So 7.27. I think I gotta go this way. Maybe you can see better. 7.27. 7. Let's take, check the internal one. 3.64. 3.62 Okay, and check this other one This is um, higher 8.1 8 8.01 8 This is a 7.2 So this one is well charged 7.3 7.29 check this one remember 7.27 7. and now we go into this 7.29 and 7.29 7.29 we're gonna be testing the other ones here uh, let's flip the probe and see 7 7.29 7.289 uh, 7.29 7.29 7.29 7.29 so it's only one that's over 8 so that's the one we have to watch for 7.29 let's do it again 7.29 7.29 this is the 8 point zero one let's test this one see can get this thing to work properly all right let's get done with these games here seven point two seven this is the one of the lowest one and this is one of the highest one. So we perform a voltage test and thanks for watching. And I hope um, you see I'm going to be stacking these on the next series. Stay tuned for that. Bye for now. Subscribe and share. All right, guys, we're back again. So since uh, we have one battery that is uh, 8.02, which is this one here. So we can write here. 8.02 and this is the uh, uh, 7.27 7. so by doing so we're gonna be balancing these batteries like I said um, I, don't need, I, don't, I don't use balancers so we gotta balance these batteries I'm gonna stack all these batteries all positive all negatives and tie them all together positive negatives I can even go with the middle ones as well and for maybe a day or two whatever it would time I have when I have time to do all this and um, this battery is gonna be all balanced the voltage the one is has higher like this one is gonna be transferring a uh, uh, voltage to the other batteries and if they're all not charged and they can have equilibrium they're going to be equilibrium equal to all the voltage and amps on each of these so
kilowatt is a 500 watt on each battery at uh, 7.4 7.6 volt when you charge them at 8.1 or 8.15 so like the the uh, generation 2 can go 8.4 8.3 to 4 so direct the, the max charge on this one is about 8.2 so you don't want to charge them way too high like that so the only thing just give them a little bit of uh um space to breathe and whatever as long as they're all the same this is how i uh, i'm doing mine i don't know how you're gonna do it so it's just um um you can watch what i do you don't have to do what i do so it's just a like a disclaimer this is how i've done it and this is how i'm doing it and um you can do the way you want so i'm not responsible for anything um uh happen to you or whatever your system and this is the way I'm doing it I'm just showing what I'm I'm doing or what I'm gonna do I'm not telling nobody to do what I did so there are a lot of ideas or uh, uh, videos or uh, components if you want to use um, a BMS go ahead and use BMS fine and um, I'm not uh, recommend anything when it comes to uh, lithiums how you handle them because we're all different with what we, the way we handle stuff and this you gotta handle them with respect care and really pay attention to them because they are small but they are powerful more than a AGM battery that can cause problems can cause trouble so you just have to keep an eye on them don't just leave them like this you no know, that's why I always do my test I've done my test and make sure I see all the batteries the voltage the way they are before I'm going to do anything I want to do. So, because of that, you guys have seen this other pack here as well. You got to be careful so I can't touch the other one so it can't be any search. So, these are, I'm going to be adding to these batteries. So, right now is um, 10 batteries here. 13. They're supposed to be uh, another one to make it. 14 or 16 I want to make them 16 so about three more batteries gonna go be, so that they can be um, 8s okay they can be two strings of 8s that's gonna be around uh, uh, um, 8 kilowatt so if I get 16 of them so I have 13 right now three more I hate to do that but I already have this one they are surplus on my previous um, battery install so i have this one laying around that's why if you see i interconnect them just to get them balanced in the 12 volt system and uh, if i put a meter they're all reading the same and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be wire these all in parallel all positives the center and the negative positive so it's gonna just be about 7.7.4 7.6 so they're going to balance each other. This highest one here, the 8.02, we end up having the same voltage with the other one. So it's going to drop and transfer it. But since I already marked it, I'm going to pay attention to this. If it's just a fast charge or if it's a kind of a little bit, I have a problem, then I can see. When I have to co connect them now in series or the way I want them to be, then I charge them all together and see what each battery is reading on a series now the configuration i want them started looking at which one is not charging right but anyway this is how i'm gonna just wind up the video i hope you learned something and thanks for watching this is how i do my thing you can do yours or anyhow you want that's fine it's your thing so it's your project it's your uh your, it's your money or whatever you want to do but this is what i do and you watch all my videos and you see the way I handle lithiums. It's not a child's play. It's not a joke. So you got to keep an eye on them. Anything you do on lithiums, just keep an eye and make sure. Don't just become complacent and just done, done and walk away. And your eyes are always there. You know, get your peace of mind. Get the right equipment. Get the right um, install or know your configuration, especially the charges, how you charge them. All right. Be safe out there. And... Love you guys all.
subscribe and share live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. Bye for now.